not your average guy on the YouTube channel never mind your own I'm doing an experiment I need like do-it-yourself gimbal for the GoPro and I'm borrowing this idea from kites there are tutorials on the internet where you can hang a GoPro under a kite with just ropes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this GoPro mount that's used for displaying the GoPro in the box and I'm gonna make four screws at the edges and why I'm doing this is because I want to hang a GoPro under my drone and why would I want to do that because I want to be able to make shots underwater and then getting out of the water or above the water and then getting into the water and you have drones for this like the splash drone but that's 1500 euros or whatever so i want to see if i can get something like that okay and then we're gonna do some super glue in it and now we need ropes I think I got that and then well there we are you see that and the funny thing is it will just automatically balance if I pull the cords that's that's really funny the end result is gonna look like this I got some electrical wire attached to the landing gear and there's one ring with the rope and then the wire go to, to this side with the ring and a rope and then uh, the gimbal is hanging under it you see that and no matter what I do with the drone like this the gimbal will it will wobble a little bit but it will stay horizontal i know it's weird but you know i'm not your average guy so we gotta try crazy things or what this is the perfect location to test my do-it-yourself gopro gimbal for the phantom 4 pro it's a kennel it's not very deep uh, and there will be an occasional canoe but i think this is a good location to test it Alrighty. oh no wait there's one thing, enable downward vision positioning. I'm gonna put that off because there's a camera hanging under it and it will be totally confused by this. So I have to turn that off. And I know it will not hover as stable as it uh, used to. So I have to watch out for that. But let's see what it is doing. I don't like this very much. To be honest, it's wobbling a lot. I'm going to go lower above the water like 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 this and now 
And now going forward above the water like this. I don't know what kind of shots I will get from this, but I'm playing with fire or something, I don't know. Ay, 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 ay. There's a lot of plants in the water. I don't want to drag the GoPro through the water and then it hits a plant and then it... It drags my drone into the water. Like here, you see there's a lot of plants. I don't want that, of course. There's a lot of wind. Whoa. Oh my. I, I think, on one hand, I think the, the, the line should be a lot longer. That was a pretty long shot on the water. Oh, don't go too low. Now I'm going a little bit quicker. Guys, you, you didn't get a lot of comments from me during the flight, but I have I had to be so concentrated on what I was doing because the visual positioning system is off. So it's like going up, down, left, right, etc. So, and then when it drags the camera through the water, it, it takes the drone down. So I have to give it a, a little bit extra lift. It's really difficult to fly like this. I don't think the footage will be extraordinary, but it's an experiment. So now I'm going home. I'm going to have a look at the footage. I'm not too happy with the result of the kite gimbal. So I'm trying something else now. And this is like 
a landing gear for on the water. It's really simple. I uh, take some electrical pipe and I got some styropor uh, balls and I just push the balls on the end here and now I need to make it like this <laughs> look at that and then the idea is that I can still attach a GoPro over here. The big question now is, will it float? So, let's check that. Yeah, it floats. But it's very low. Okay, here's what I did. I used four of those. And put them to the end and then put the balls here. So it means it's a lot higher. And also the balls are further away. It's longer. And I think when they're higher, it also needs to be a little bit longer. Otherwise it might easily tip over. As you can see, the GoPro kite gimbal is under the construction now, but it's it's doing this, you see that? And it, they will never stop. I don't know how they do this when when it's on the kite. But So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another thread like this and I'm, I'm going to put it through one of the eyes and then back here. So it can do a little bit, but the thread will, it has a little bit of friction and thus it will dampen this movement. You see it like this, if I do this now, it will dampen the movement and it will stop doing that after a while. And now I want to show you what happens if I turn the drone like this. You see that? It moves, but not very much. was not going right at all. I think that's partly due to the wind. Uh, wow. <laughs> um, two. I'm gonna take the GoPro off and see how it flies without it. Take off. The home point is <laughs> That's even worse. The GoPro is even stabilizing it, man. I think uh, this experiment failed. There is a wind, definitely, that has some effect. But this was really bad. Take off. That looks a lot better. It's still wobbling a lot.
it's a lot better but it's not good enough next day another try problem was that i had been flying with the phantom on another location and i turned vps on and then when i retried this vps was still on i think that explains the erratic behavior so i'm gonna retry with vps turned off and let's see if it does this again i don't think so there's a big machine over there making a lot of noise so what i have to do is i have to go to the sensors and then um, enable downward vision positioning i have to turn that off well, now let's see what it's doing not doing a lot better is it uh, another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm, I think I'm gonna put all the sensors off Like this and retry. Take off. Maybe try one more thing, and that is. Um, And fail. I did not give up easily. I retried three, four times. But I think I will quit now. Okay, experiment failed. If you still like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more adventures, experiments, tests, and whatever things you can enjoy and learn from and support me on patreon not that this landing gear was that expensive but maybe i better buy something like this from the shelf the strange thing is there is a product that exactly has this and they got it working so I thought, hey, I can make this myself. But I guess there is more into this than what I thought. Give me your suggestions and comments in the box below. And definitely see you on the next video, alright? Bye.